Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tori. Thank you guys for joining me today. Today is a very special video. If you've been following me and if you haven't, you need to go ahead and take a second and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. I announced a little while back that I was going to be doing a giveaway once we reached the 750 subscriber mark, which we have passed that. I'm so excited. I was talking to my mom the other day and honestly, every little step of the way of this journey, I just, I'm so grateful. Um, for all of y'all support. So today we'll be doing a really cool video. I'm going to be comparing three different card holders and wallets from Louis Vuitton. And I'm also going to be announcing, of course, the giveaway and the winner at the end of this video. So stay Perfect. tuned. As you guys have already seen on my channel, I have looked at both of these wallets that I've gotten from Louis Vuitton. Uh, so we're just going to do some comparisons real quick and then I have this third special one which you may have guessed, yes, is the giveaway item for this video this time around. Um, but we're going to get into these two first since we've already been familiarized with these two. So first up, let's just take a look at the difference in size of these two wallets that we have here. Um, as you can tell, this one is a lot smaller. So this, let me just recap, is the Zoe wallet which actually they don't make anymore i don't know i haven't seen it on their website recently um in this pattern particularly i've only seen it in the monogram um, but this is in the damier azor of course with the pink and then this one here is the louis vuitton recto versa which is my newest wallet and i've been carrying this pretty much every day since i posted that video for you guys um but real quick let's just remind ourselves of the difference so i'll start with this one because it's been a while since we've taken a look at this per purse this wallet okay so close up for you guys real quick so we've got this pink leather here and you may have seen some pen marks on this so I was carrying this around I was using this a lot during the pandemic um, and as well as my um, my Louis Vuitton backpack that I have you can take a look at that video I'll post it right here um, but and so I was kind of just throwing it around in my backpack and this is when I was doing like legit remote working so I'll be going to coffee shops and stuff or wherever and so I would just throw the pins and my wallet and stuff and the bag with it so I can see like a few marks it's not too bad to be honest you may see like a couple little scuffs or pin marks up here but she's she's held she held up pretty well for me during the pandemic um so it is a button um and you open it up and it's like a folding sort of like accordion style kind of wallet and so you've got four card holder pockets all together two on each side um, and then on the inside here you have this flap where you can put like cash or cards as well whatever you might consider and then it's got this little zipper pouch here that you can probably put some like coins or really small items in there um, and then it's got the damier azor pattern all along the back side and the pink i think it's just so cute and this is louis vuitton made in france um, and then it does have that additional sort of back pocket here, which is really tight, to be honest. You could maybe put like a business card or like a quick, like if you want to put your ID back here for quick access, that's really good for that. Um, but as you can see, I have kind of bent it a little bit. You can see like this like ridge. Um, that's because when you're trying to go in there all the time, it does kind of create that lip. So that's something to look out for. Uh, but yeah, you definitely want to be careful and not throw this around in your purse when you have pins, obviously. Um, with the leather but other than that I would say it's held up really well like I said I used it mostly during 2020 and 2021 during the pandemic um, yeah the only thing is which I mentioned in I can't remember what video I'll tag it um, but and I knew to go I do need to go back into Louis Vuitton and get this like fixed I don't know if y'all can really tell that like discoloration that's on this um, zipper here this zipper whatever this is called yeah it's like faded kind of or like maybe or like even on this side I don't know if you can really tell um yeah it looks really interesting in my opinion I'm like for the money you pay for this stuff um and even on like this this part of the zipper here you can kind of see where it's like faded or discolored um yeah I'm not a fan of that other than that though this has held up very well um the only thing for me is i don't find it super convenient to keep like opening and like closing this up all the time um so that's why i've pretty much been using my recto verso for the most part for the last 
however many months it's been since I posted the original unboxing video for this. I think it's been at least a few months now. I absolutely love, love, love this wallet. Um, it's kind of similar to my coach wallet that I use in a lot of my what's in my bag videos, to be honest, um, because I love this little chain, although I don't use it as much now. It's really useful um, for like my keys or whatever, if I really just want to grab this, attach my keys to it and walk around with that while I'm out or something like that. It makes it super easy. Um, this one is very new, so the zipper, um, hasn't really faded at all yet so we're gonna see i'll give you guys like a six month update to see if there's been any discoloration um on this guy similar to how we've seen on the zoe wallet hopefully not but we'll see it's already kind of a little bit um peeling the like goldish color i don't think it's focusing i'll put in a picture um, but that's just wear and tear, I guess. I don't know if that's normal. I need to go check out other videos on YouTube. If you guys have um, wallets as well, let me know. Because I'm very concerned as well. For This is much more like, this is metal compared to this, which feels kind of more like plastic maybe. I don't know. This one definitely feels more, this like loop, um, this clasp feels a lot more durable than this for sure. I think this is just coated in something. So we'll see. Um, but anyway, real quick, this one does have a button as well, but I only keep like one thing in this part of my wallet. Um, so I'll keep just like stuff that I maybe don't use as often that front part. Um, but of course there is a nice large zipper and opening here for the main compartment of the wallet. And that's where I keep most of my cards um, and, and, such, and even like money if I need to, or sometimes I'll put my cash in this little back pocket in here. Um, for quick access and then also as well for quick access there are four slots here on the back of this wallet that I've mentioned before and I'll keep like my ID and like quick stuff that I usually use all the time although one thing to note about these little pockets here on the back of this wallet especially if you don't um, aren't using the cards very often like taking them in and out of the wallet the pocket lining will come out <laughs> like it'll flip inside out when you take the card out which is what just happened a minute ago when I was taking all my things out of my wallet for this video setup I was like uh and it went back in but it was a bit concerning to begin with and I don't know if you can really see the like wrinkles um on the inside of the lining that was from when I flipped the pocket inside out unintentionally when I was taking my cards out of the wallet <laughs> I was like um okay um but it went back in fine and nobody's gonna notice the wrinkle on the inside of the pocket but you so i can't really complain too much um and i do kind of keep a lot in my wallet so you can kind of see like the the little like indent that's like permanently in here now but other than that yeah i throw this around quite a lot to be honest and like i said i only have this for maybe two months now i really can't even remember right now maybe two months that i've had this wallet very durable so far though and it's dark so i don't have to worry about pen marks getting on it unless it might get on like this or this but ever since this i tend to either not put pins in my purse or put them inside like the little zipper or like pocket area because i learned my lesson very heavily on this one all right now let's get to the piece de resistance i'm sure which all are very curious to see so this is a card wallet that I have in this bag. So we're going to go ahead and unbox it for you guys. So, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and leave the ribbon and this little card on here for the giveaway winner. Um, but this one is just a slide open box, which is nice. So we're just going to go ahead and unbox it for you guys. Here's what you have, the box with the card wallet in it and just comes of course still in a dust pouch dust pouch dust bag. And so of course it's got Louis Vuitton on the front of the dust bag. So we flip that open. And this is what we have. So this is, I looked it up, um, and it's literally just called a card wallet. <laughs> There's no name to it, but it is in the reverse monogram style. Um, and I think it's so cute. Honestly, I was so tempted to just keep this for myself. I've been holding on to it. It's been tucked away in my closet, you guys, just waiting to give this away. Uh, but you can see here, so we've got the regular monogram with the peekaboo reverse monogram up top. And on the opposite side, it's got the reverse monogram with the peekaboo regular monogram up top. And it's got one compartment here, one compartment here on this side, and then a large compartment on the very inside of this wallet. It is so cute, honestly. This works so well. I've had so many instances where like my mini bags, like if I'm going out with my 
um, Brandon Blackwood mini trunk or like my Teflar bag or one of my other Brandon Blackwood bags. This would have been honestly so perfect or honestly when I'm wearing like, um, what are they called? Oh, when I'm wearing like cargo pants and you have like the large pockets if I'm going out, like this would have been so perfect. I thought about this so many times but I was like, you know what? No, I said that I would be doing a giveaway in my Milan video and I actually did get this in Milan. Um, so that's another little special add in on that. So, um, so cute. Let me compare it for you guys really quickly. So this is the, um, so this is side by side, the card wallet and my Recto Verso wallet. And so they're both technically card holders and they're very similar in size. The card holder is um, smaller in dimensions this way and naturally, of course, um, this way. Um, so you can see that. Yeah, but so cute. So, you can, But you get the idea, right? Like this could definitely fit in a pocket or if you're one of the girls who aren't like as girly, they don't really want like the big wallet or even something like this. Something simpler like this is really cute. Honestly, and this is great for men as well. Like this is on the women's website, but I think honestly a man could rock this, obviously, for sure. If you like it, I love it, okay? And honestly, who cares? If you like it, even if it's on the women's site or the men's site, get that thing and then really quickly just side by side as well for the zoe wallet and the card holder and these are much more these are about the same width the card holder is actually a smidge longer maybe like a centimeter if that let me show you this way yeah so it's like maybe like a centimeter longer um but it's about the same height um but yeah much more compact very cute so let me know which one is your favorite guys between these three wallets the card holder the Zoe wallet or the Rectover. So which one do you think is the best? Um, yeah, I've given you my opinions. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I just wanna let you guys know that I will be doing another giveaway when we reach 1000 subscribers. I think we're at like 760-ish now, maybe 770. Um, so yeah, as soon as we get to 1000 subscribers and I'll put the requirements for that giveaway down below as well, once again, in the description of this video. So be sure to stay tuned for that and make sure you do all those requirements if you want to win the next giveaway that I'm announcing. Okay, so now the moment that you guys have been waiting for, based on the giveaway requirements that I put in my Milan vlog and the giveaway announcement video, uh, the person that I've chosen, one of the people who have done all of the requirements that I put in there, um, I have selected Alicia's corner so thank you so much for your support i will be reaching out to you soon to figure out how we can best get this giveaway to you thanks guys so much be sure like i said to read in the comments below to see what the giveaway um, requirements are for the next giveaway once we reach a thousand subscribers if you like this video make sure you give it a thumbs up and like i said if you haven't subscribed yet what you doing go ahead and do that all right thanks again guys bye